In today's English lesson, you will learn 10 idioms about food. Let's get started. Don't miss a lesson. Click the red subscribe button, then click the bell. Hello, real fluency friends. I'm Trisha, and I'm here to teach you real English used in real life so that you can reach real fluency now. And today, you will learn 10 idioms related to food. The first one is piece of cake. This idiom means that something is really easy to do. Um, be careful to remember that it is piece, P-I-E-C-E, -E, not P-E-A-C-E. -E. I've seen an English user make this mistake recently. So a sample sentence with that is, she thought it would be hard to learn a lot of English idioms, but it was a piece of cake. Number two is easy as pie. This one also means that something is easy to do. A sample sentence is, don't worry about learning how to drive. It will be easy as pie. Number three is eggs in one basket. This means to rely on one single thing, usually used in a negative sense, as in don't put all your eggs in one basket. A sample sentence is, you shouldn't learn English just from one teacher. You don't want to put all your eggs in one basket. Watch English lessons from many different teachers. Four is nuts about. To be nuts about something is to really like something a lot. A sample sentence is, he really likes learning English. He's nuts about it. Number five is best thing since sliced bread. This means that something is really good. A sample sentence is, electric cars are the best thing since sliced bread. They look and drive great and they don't need fossil fuels. Number six is bring home the bacon. This means to make money or earn an income. As in, she's been bringing home the bacon since her husband died. Number seven is cup of tea. This means that you like something, but it is usually used in a negative, as in something is not your cup of tea. For example, I don't like sports. It's just not my cup of tea. Eight, cry over spilt milk. This one means to be upset or sad about something bad that happened in the past and that you can't change. Also usually used in a negative sense, as there's no use in crying over spilt milk. Uh, sample sentences, yes, you should have been more careful about what you said, but there's no use in crying over spilt milk. Number nine is lemon. A lemon refers to something you bought that never works like it's supposed to or it broke right after you got it. As in, he never should have bought that car. He's had to have it repaired a few times now. It's a lemon. Number 10 is bite off more than you can chew. Now, you should know that the past tense for the word bite is bit, and the past participle is bitten. So this means to plan to try to do more than you will be able to do. As in, I was planning to record several English lessons this weekend, but I think I may have bitten off more than I can chew. I don't think I will have time to make that many. Now it's time for a really short quiz, and I think it will be pretty easy. So number one, a good idea, plan, or invention could be called the best thing since. Number two, something which is very easy to do could be called a, or. Number three, you should take more than one online English course. You don't want to put all blank. That's all for today's lesson. I think that quiz was a piece of cake. What do you think? But before you go, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can also sign up to get free ebooks and emails me to help you more with English. And if you have time, watch another English lesson for me. Goodbye. And remember, with hope, anything is possible. But there's no use in crying over your spilt milk. No, that's not even good at all. To be nuts about something is to really like, wait, no, <laughs> to like, to, to be nuts about something is to, or I'm nuts about
rockets. I don't know. 